Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I have a very exciting product to show you. I just got this in the mail this morning and I could not wait to kind of sit down and make some plans for it and figure out exactly how I'm going to use this thing. But I'm very excited about it so I wanted to share it with you and kind of do a flip through to show you what it is all about and what's included in it and um, how I'm planning to use it as of right now. So this is the Get to Work book. This was created by Elise Joy and I will have um, Elise's blog website linked down below as well as the Get to Work book website because this has a separate website for this product only. So uh, you guys can go check that out. And Elise has actually done a couple of video walkthroughs on her on the website as well so you can see those and then she shows you how she uses it. So. Um, there's a lot more information there as well, but I just wanted to show you mine. I just got it today. Like I said, this is the newest version. This is actually January through December 2016, so I have to wait till January, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I can deal with it. <laughs> okay, so um, I missed the bus the first time this went around. This is the second um, launch that she's done for this. She had the first one goes from July 2015 to June 2016. And I missed that one because I wasn't 100% sure if it was something that I needed, but upon using what I currently have for my, um, my YouTube and project kind of organization, I realize I do need this. <laughs> this is gonna help me a lot more. Um, just because what I have, I'm, I've really grown out of it already and I've only been using it for a couple months. I just need more room. I need more places to write my thoughts down. I need it all to be together. So this is all going to be in this book. So um, when she came out with this newer one that runs January through December, I jumped on it and I think I pre-ordered it the first day. So um, I was very excited to get this. As far as I know, this is still available. I don't think she has sold out of it, so I would head over to the Get to Work book website if it's something that you want to purchase. I would go ahead and do it because she does have limited quantities. So um, let me go ahead and show you the inside. So this cover is um, awesome. It's very, very thick, very, very thick chipboard. Like this thing is sturdy. I would not hesitate to throw this in my purse if I'm on the go or not want to take it with me to write some stuff down. And it also has this really great embossed check mark, which is kind of um, the logo for it. And I just love that. I think it's gorgeous. This is a spiral bound here as well. And the tabs do stick out on the side, but they're not huge. And they're very, very, very sturdy. So I'm not worried about them getting like, you know, damaged or anything like that. I'm probably not gonna take this with me on the go too often. Maybe sometimes if I head to a coffee shop or something and I wanna write some stuff down, I will. But for the most part, it's probably gonna stay on my desk. Okay. Um, Layla's in my room, so pardon her if she starts to get a little loud. <laughs> okay, so I'm um, starting out. It has like your contact information. Um, this is a little quote that says, nobody cares about almost, which I kind of love that. <laughs> um, and then starting off right before the month starts, it has, um, this is a little reflect, um, sheet here so you can kind of reflect on your goals for the previous month so this would for example be like December or maybe all of 2015 for me I can think you know what were my wins what's still in progress what to let go of which I love that prompt because there comes times where you do have to let go of stuff because things get a little overwhelming especially for me I've let a few things go this year so I really like that prompt there if you ever feel like there's anything you need to let go of it kind of gives you permission to just write it down and be okay with it this one is things to think on. This one is to work on and to complete. So I really like this sheet. I think this is gonna give me a really good opportunity to really sit down at the end of every month and just think about what I wanna accomplish for the next month. Okay, so starting for January, each month starts with one of these very thick cardstock uh, prints here. These are perforated as well, so you can actually tear this out and you can hang it up or you can color it or I could give it to Caitlin and she could color it or do something. So I think that's really cool. I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, tear them out quite yet or not, but if I want to, that's an option, which is great. And it also has a month, a monthly uh, calendar here and then something that says this month is all about. So I could write something in there if I really want to. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So January, starting on the tab, you have a grid page here. This, this is blank because this is the back of the cardstock. So I, I don't know if I'd write anything there or not. 
Um, but this starts out with a grid page. It has date and project, so this is a good place for you to kind of think about if there's a big project you want to work on every month or um, anything like that, you can easily write them down here. And then it goes into the month at a glance. This is where um, you can either write in your schedule or do whatever. I'm going to show you what a month looks like and then I'll show you how I plan on using it. And then we get into the weeks. So this is the week at a glance here. So the top, as you can see, it has three little bullet points, but it's not specific. You can do whatever you want in there. I like that there's no times written on here because it's literally just probably going to be a to-do list for me, honestly, or things that I want to focus on or things I need to think about. Um, it also, <laughs> sorry, she found the bubble wrap. <laughs> Don't do that, please. Um, I also like that on the bottom is just a open grid. So if you want to write separate notes down here, you can, or if you have more to write down here, then you can keep on going, like no problem. I really like that. Um, it also, this is new. Um, this is a kind of a bookmarker type thing that she had um, brought up. It says today on the top, and then you just put it in. Um, this is really well made. It's really sturdy and it goes in nicely. Uh, so that's going to be nice to do that. This is something you do order separately, but you do order it from Elise. Um, also on the side here, this has action items. And I really like that. You can use these for pretty much whatever you want, but action items are kind of like big things that you want to get done that week. So let's say I have a book that I have received from a publisher that I need to review and it has to be up by a certain day. So if it needs to be up this week, I can make sure I have, you know, post my review for so-and-so and that's a big action item this week. And then I would also put it in here. What are my steps? I need to finish the book. I need to um, film the review. I need to edit the review. I need to post the review. So all that kind of stuff. So you kind of put the big ones here and then the little one, the little actions in here. That's how I'm going to plan on using it. Um, or if I have a design team um, scrapbooking page due, then I'll put what it is here and then kind of the steps here. You know, I need to pick my products. I need to film it. I need to edit it. I need to post pictures and, you know, all that kind of stuff all throughout the week so that I get it done. Breaking up into smaller steps is going to really just help me get things done a lot um, more efficiently. Okay, so you have one for every week there. At the end of the week... Um, these are project pages as well. This one is the same as in the beginning of the month, and I do have plans for both of them. They're going to kind of go together, but I'm going to kind of separate them a little bit, and I'll show you that in a second. But this one here has, um, at the top here, you can put the project date, deadline, if you have those, or you could just make a title on what it is. And then it has these little squares here where you kind of break up what you need to do and just use as much room as you need. So um, I really like that because you could write here what you need to do and if there's any other little things you need to do and then just check it off when it's all done. Or if there's just thing that's like just one line of something that you need to do and just check it off. So I really like that as well. And then at the end you have your reflection page again like you did in the very beginning. So the way that I am going to be using this book is that I am going to be using this for my scrapbooking and my booktube projects. So I have two different channels on YouTube. I have my scrapbooking channel and I have my booktube channel. And um, I just find I have to make a lot of notes and I have to write a lot of things down because I do videos for all of my things that I do. So I want to make sure I don't ever forget um, what I'm reading or what I'm doing or how I feel about something or why I chose some to do something. Um, it's all very important to me, so I want to make sure that I have everything written down. So um, what I'm planning to do is on the very beginning page, which is on the tab, so for January, here I'm going to write down um, my plans for reading that month. So for example, on my BookTube channel, um, I do I do reviews, I do um, just kind of my to be read, like what I plan on reading for the month, and then I do a wrap up, what I actually did read that month. Um, and then I'm also part of two different book clubs. I have a physical book club here where we meet once a month and it's me and a bunch of friends. And then I'm also part of an online one on Goodreads. Um, sometimes I read the book, sometimes I don't, it depends on if I'm interested in it. But um, so this is gonna be kind of like my reading goals for the month. So basically, you know, what books are for the two book clubs that I'm a part of, I'm just gonna write them down whether I read them or not. 
um, do I have any review books that I have to get done this month? So I need to make sure I include that. And um, if there's any readathons for the month that I plan on participating in, because I've been doing that a lot lately too. So I'll write down all the information for the readathons that I plan on doing. So that's going to be kind of like my overall goal for that. Um, moving along with the booktube, I'm going to use um, this last page as well. That's the last one in the month, which is the same grid page. And I'm going to write down all of my reading here. So I'm going to have like probably columns and say, okay, here's my TBR for January. Here's what I plan on reading. Here's what I talked about in my video that I would like to read this month. Over here is what I actually did read this month. So throughout the month when I finish the book, I'll write it down here. Um, here's the reviews I need to get done this month and I'll check them off as I get those videos done and edited and everything. And then just kind of any other ideas I have for any other extra videos I want to put up on my channel. I'm going to try to start posting a little bit more on booktube so I want to try to post at least once a week maybe more if I um, come up with that many ideas we'll have to see how it goes but all my booktube stuff is kind of going to be in one place on this page okay um this page is going to be for my scrapbooking so this one is a lot better because I usually have multiple things I'd like to work on during the month so um for example I have some design team commitments I'm on um three different design teams, kind of. <laughs> the first one is I'm on Sketches in Time and that is a monthly assignment. So like the first one will be Sketches in Time, the date that it's due. Um, maybe I'll make a little sketch on what the, the sketch actually is and then I can check it off as soon as I get it done and turned in. Um, I'm also a contributor to the Crafty Mavens Getaway channel. So um, I have committed to post there at least once a month, sometimes twice if Hannah needs it. Um, it, we kind of play it by ear every month. Um, so I'll post what dates I'm supposed to put on there, what the topic is, when I get it done and all that stuff, and then I can check it off when that's completed and uploaded and ready to go. Um, starting in January, I will also be on the Victoria Marie Challenge team on her Facebook group. So I will put that, like which challenge I'm supposed to do, any ideas I have for that challenge, and make sure I get a project done for that challenge. So, um, and then I can also do like my hip kits. You know, I can say, January hip kit. Here's the layouts I want to do, <laughs> you know, and I'm um, just kind of check them off as I go. So this is going to be all scrapbooking right here because mostly scrapbooking for me is just making a list and checking it off. So that's going to be perfect to put right here and doing it monthly is going to help that list shrink. It won't be so overwhelming as if I just have it on a piece of paper and it's like 500 lines long. <laughs> it's, it gets a little bit crazy. So this is going to help me really focus monthly on what exactly can I do and what will I do. So that's kind of my plan for that. And then throughout the weeks, I'm just going to, I am going to try to choose some actions that I need to do, especially as far as filming goes, make sure I film everything on time and make sure I film things when I have time because I have two kids. Um, so when they're home, it's really hard to film when they're home, as you can hear, because my daughter is currently <laughs> putting stuff where she shouldn't be. But... Um, so the best time for me to film is when, when they're in school. So like, you know, on this day they're going to be in school. So this is a great time for me to film my, like a booktube video or, um, do voiceovers for my scrapbooking videos or something like that. So I'm, I need to really just kind of time my plan out or plan my time out, um, better. So that's going to be kind of the focus for here. For the month at a glance pages here, this is going to actually be my YouTube schedule. So every single day that I plan on uploading a video, either scrapbooking or a booktube, I'm gonna write it in the designated day. And then um, I usually just make a little slash through each day as it passes <laughs> so that I know that that day is gone and I did post that. Um, so that's gonna be my plan for the month at a glance here. It, there is also in the back, so the months go the same throughout the entire thing. And then after December, um, I'm going to be putting a lot more back here as far as books go. So um, in the back, after December, you, there's a few more of these project things. So if you want to do anything other, you, you know, things you don't necessarily need to have throughout the year, they're just kind of in general, get them done whenever you can. There's like three different pages for these. I'm going to use this one and then the rest of the book, which is all grid, all of the gridded pages. There's a lot of them back here. I'm going to use this for my yearly reading goal for next year because I have a specific plan. Um, there's two different focuses I want to focus on on reading, which is going to be some new authors. And also I want to concentrate on finishing or catching up or 
uh, trying out some new book series. So that's going to be really my big focus for next year. So I do have action items to do on that. You know, I need to make a list of all the finished series that I own that I have access to that I can read easily. I need to make a list of ongoing series that I'm either in the middle of or I've already started, but I know I want to continue. Um, I need to make a list of the authors, the new authors that I want to check out. So I'm going to be writing all of those here. So like this will probably be the new authors because there's only 12. And then here I can do like finished series um, and start writing them all out. <laughs> um, and, you know, just kind of filling up these pages with just lists and lists of books that I would like to read, like what the series is, the books that I need to read in them, and all that good stuff. Um, so this is going to be like my big headquarters for that. I am going to put a little tab up here so that when I'm, when I need to go to this project, then I can easily, you know, flip it open and find it. Um, so I'm just going to punch this out of cardstock and put that in there. And then I'll probably do some stamping in here as well. These are kind of my favorite alphabet stamps. I'll probably write, you know, new authors and, um, and then write them down here and then cross them off as soon as I read something from them. So that's kind of my plan. It's going to be a lot of writing back here, but I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited to, um, reference it a lot and then cross things off as I go. So um, there's not a whole lot more satisfying than just crossing things off of a list. I think that's, it makes me feel accomplished for sure. So that's kind of my plan for that. And then in the back here, there's um, the chipboard back and then a little pocket if you have anything you want to stick in there. But um, yeah, so this is my get to work book created by Elise Joy and that's how I plan on using it. I really wish I could use it now instead of having to wait till January, but that's okay. It gives me time to get it set up and kind of label the pages that I plan on using and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I can try to find out the answer or if you want to go check out the Get to Workbook website, I'll have a link in the description down here. There's a lot more information about it and Elise has um, like three great videos on there kind of walking you through them as well and why she chose to do things this way and how she's using hers. So um, yeah, but I just wanted to share it with you. I'm very excited. So I'm ready for January 1st when I can start, <laughs> start using this. I probably will go ahead since I have my book plans kind of already in my head. I may go ahead and start um, filling in this back part here just because it's going to take me a while to write all my stuff down that I want to do. But yep, that is going to be it for me. So I hope you guys have a great day. And like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.